Right now, all we know is we have three children that are missing. Um, evidently, we got reports that four children went into the river at about 3.30 this afternoon. Um, one child managed to swim to the shore. He came back to his family and reported um, that he had been run into the river with three other children. We do still have three other children missing. Their ages are anywhere from 9 to 12 years old. <laughs> Por e kishin, e kishin edhe një qen, se ne kishun frik për atyne, se prej shkrive jo, se ju kishun shpetuar atyme, se ishin shumë lartë, po qenin, pra po e kishpejt dhe, shtu e shumë afer lumit, e shumë, e shumë në vloja në flerën dhe seli, në ndjesor, dhe të shumë të mi, e, avne dhe seli, në më ndjesor, dhe e gëzën dhe liu e dhe më ndjesor. Kër, e trupua më ibrin, ata, ata dojene në port, ndërsa unë me vlonë tim, e shita në shpinë saj nuk dike natë, dhe gjithkon ishte e fellu në gjith, gjithë resha me krytë shqytur në ujë, kër njerë me shpetaj nga, nga shpina, dhe mu rënat shpej dhe e nëzonë apet, për dikur ishte shumë fell, më shte nga shpina apet, a mo së mujta me gjithë. The Kosovo Albanian community was enraged as they followed the developments of this tragedy. As a result of these events, spontaneous protests took place in 33 towns. The anger and frustration escalated to violent riots, showing how divided the Kosovo Albanian and Serb communities are. Nineteen people were killed, nearly 1,000 injured, and over 700 houses were destroyed. The protest of March 2004, till this date, has been the only violent protest in Kosovo since the war ended. In order to understand these events, we must go back in history to the fall of communism. In 1989, Milosevic took power, leading the rise of Serbian nationalism in the Balkans. His policies led to war and the dissolution of Yugoslavia, which was conformed by Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Macedonia, Montenegro, and Serbia. Kosovo was an autonomous province of Yugoslavia legally bounded to Serbia. In the upcoming months, the future status of Kosovo will be decided. This will affect us globally as a new country will be formed. My name is Albin Kurti. I'm an activist of Vedvendosje self-determination movement in Pristina, the capital town of Kosovo. My name is Jelena Bialica and I am a professional journalist and I am from Belgrade. My name is Jevat Ramosaj. I'm managing director of Kosovo Railways Joint Stock Company. I'm Veton Suroi. I had uh, the Reformist Party Ora here in Kosovo and I'm uh, a senior member of the negotiating team. In the last war in Kosovo, 12,000 unarmed civilians were killed, near 20,000 women were raped, 120,000 houses were destroyed or damaged, near 1 million people were deported from Kosovo, and uh, 3,000 are still missing. At present, Serbia controls 24% of the territory of Kosovo through its parallel structures, wherever Serbs live. And this is seven years now, the same situation. Uh, negotiations which are going on in Vienna are rather legitimizing and formalizing the existing situation on the ground. Well, what we have been trying to do for the past uh, eight months almost uh, is uh, to negotiate uh, the way in which the future Kosovo will live, a future democratic independent state. And so we have divided in different uh, sectors of uh, negotiations uh, dealing from uh, decentralization so the way the new municipalities will function to uh, 
the question of minority protection. The most important part of negotiations is the non-negotiable part. So what is the non-negotiable part here? Is Resolution 1244 that we as a movement are opposing because that is a compromise with Russia and China and even Serbia in the Security Council. What is exactly that resolution? What that resolution that uh, recognizes territorial integrity and sovereignty of Serbia, uh, considering Kosovo as a part of Serbia. You know, Serbia has gone through a decade of fascism, uh, has gone through wars. Uh, Serbia was the main culprit uh, in the wars of ex-Yugoslavia, uh, conducting wars against Slovenia, uh, Croatia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and the end Kosovo. And it's fairly difficult to transform from a, a country that has gone through fascist ideology into a democratic society. Majority of the population in Kosovo are Albanians, 90%, but we also have six minorities, Bosniaks, Turks, Egyptians, Roma, Ashkalis, and Serbs. The self-determination that we want is uh, neither national, neither ethnic self-determination, but is self-determination of Kosovo as political, territorial and administrative entity, which constituted former Yugoslavia. These actions are against ONMIC, uh, United Nations mission in Kosovo, and these actions are against uh, uh, our institutions and our government, uh, which are one department of ONMIC, one small authoritarian pyramid within a larger one, uh, which is here illegitimate. Now, in these negotiations, they are talking about decentralization, and decentralization uh, before sovereignty for Kosovo is going to cause partition, and partition will lead to war. Well, decentralization originally meant that uh, the power should descend closer to the people, and the way of decision-making should be closer to them. Unfortunately, decentralization has been interpreted as the need to form new Serb municipalities so that the Serb people in Kosovo can have an all-encompassing presence. Wherever they live, there should be a Serb municipality. There is no centralized state today in, in, in Europe, I mean, except Serbia, who is completely centralized state. I mean, uh, all of the states are more or less decentralized, but this principle of decentralization is completely wrong because it's based on ethnicity and on territory. If you divide two communities, I mean, then you are creating new Bosnia and Herzegovina. A new Bosnia and Herzegovina, apparently even 12 years after the, the Dayton Agreement, is not a is not non-functional state. I mean, it doesn't function. Don't hesitate. Consist. Get together. Get moving. Respect freedom of movement. Dalo tu per radio stazione vetira per cacciosia da per ca musica. Che na cacciosia tieder da madon si domos na discutimi na problemi politiche, sociali, economiche e da culturore. Ne pe projekte, če je nabil kasi en Road of Peace, to je projekt, če je projekt multietnik, ko je nabil tu srta ele nacionalitete tja rom turselit. Je nabil še dzu rugen, a če lam vidi nal ten non, je kad deportu njest, to je Pristina pre moškom bloce. During the war, this railway, especially from here, from Pristina and from Fuškosova here, up to uh, last station Hania Lezit in border with Macedonia was used uh, by Serbs authorities to, uh, to throw out Albanians from Kosovo, I mean. Uh, and now it is a big change. We are using the same track for integration of, of citizens of Kosovo. Especially, as I said, now we have twice per day free movement train, which helps, I mean, integration of citizens, traveling of citizens, especially in first, in first place for Serb minority. For me, tolerance is not a goal. Tolerance is a natural consequence of uh, people living together in a society. Tolerance is respect for the other. As long as it's not in my yard, 
you can do whatever you want. Të jetojsh për vetën të ndë, të kryojsh i lirë, dhe të lejojsh tjerët të, të veprojnë dhe të kryojnë të lirë. Toleranca për mu është ma shumë një afalë tjetërit, tjetërit cilët ke pas problemu se të ka ndodhë diska me të. Time moves slowly in this great city. Repeatedly find strife to succeed. It's not easy to simply get by with what you need. Scarce is work to be found. Slaying my days and nights to the whistle sounds. Still I lead to better my family. Form solidity in the community. And never forget where we come from. It's our history.